morning you guys happy vlogmas day three i am so excited to bring you along sort of like a work day in my life here we just have a lot of work to accomplish today we got to get down to business so this was not the day for me to sleep in a little late but i did i mean not really late just like an hour hour and a half longer than i normally do because i normally get up at like seven but yeah i just felt like I needed it this morning and Brody was being so cuddly and normally the second Max gets up and leaves to go work out or something Brody is like up for the day which is good because it gets me moving and yeah but today he was just so snuggly with me so you saw we were just snuggling a little bit I was planning out my day my little planner because I have a lot to do but the first thing I do every morning like without fail is walk Brody which is something really great that has come with having a dog because it is such a scheduled like routine thing in my everyday life and it makes me do it because I know he needs to be walked obviously oh also don't mind the tape up on the walls it's still there TVD on when we get our picture frames but I actually think I'm going to work out this afternoon which normally I do the morning but again I opted to sleep in like an extra hour which would have been my workout time so we just have to like hop right into work because I have calls and podcasts I have to record and stuff like that so then sometimes I do like working out in the afternoon if it's like, it's sort of like a treat after I finish all my work kind of thing. Or even if I have work to do after that, it's just like nice to break it up that way. I don't know. I'm just not too strict to myself anymore. Like I have to do this at certain times because the inner spontaneity, spontaneous self that I have will just like freak out. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I literally wear this black defined jacket like every morning on the walk with Brody because it sort of takes like the guessing game out of it. And then I actually... I'm just gonna wear this later when I do like a little yoga class just like a little I'm an all in Lulu right now actually this little sports bra align leggings I showed these recently this is a new color I got and yeah I'm gonna work out in it later but I'm gonna walk Brody in it now we're gonna get our morning started a little later than usual and thank goodness for this planner because it really helps me stay on track like I can write in the morning okay cross out the first hour because I slept in but then plan from there and it just helps so much and last thing I'll mention you guys while we're over here <laughs> this is so cute you guys look what my mom got me this little picture of course my little dried florals are kind of in front of it but I just really like the way it looked kind of like layered together I thought it was so cute and it says sleigh bells ring and the snow in there actually moves around if you see like it's so cute she's like i just felt like it reminded me of the vibes of your apartment very like white and neutral and she's like i just thought it was so fun and holiday and i'm like mom you're so cute so how cute is that <laughs> i was having the leftover starbucks from yesterday my Do second one of the day oh yeah you already had one so this is number two do you want to be yeah. in on the end brody's <laughs> freaking out he needs his walk so we're going but Got him. Mostly, I have to bundle up more than this. Like, I'll do even another sweatshirt on top of this, then this, and I do gloves and a hat. And then I do sweatpants on top of this. Like, I really bundle. Hi, crazy man. And actually, I've rediscovered my Allbirds, you guys, because they're, like, fleece lined. Can you not bite on my coat, please? Brody, man, come on. I know. You have so much energy. Come on. We're going on our walk. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can tell my face feels like frozen like from the wind oh, it's like so red <laughs> Brody's chugging his water also I didn't show you guys my gloves from Lulu they are like fuzzy on the inside and I love them so much or I guess they're mittens I will link them down below because these are the best ever also I realized in my walk I didn't ask you guys the question of the day yet oh my gosh do you ever feel like after you're outside your face is actually frozen I feel like I can't like move my mouth right now. <laughs> it's so cold. But question of the day. What is your guys' favorite holiday movie? Mine, I would say is very basic. Elf. Like I'm sure a lot of you agree with me on this. It's just so good. But I want to know more of them that I should be watching this holiday season. So comment down below your favorite holiday movie. And also comment down below a question you have that I can answer at the end of my next video. For you guys had so many good segment names like G spills the tea, tea with G, GLV spills it, stuff like that. 
Or like I saw one that was, because I do question of the day, then that would be like answer of the day. I thought that was creative too, but because I answer a question at the end of the video. So comment your question down below and favorite holiday movie. And last thing, since I got a little bit of a late start today, we're just being real because, I mean, normally after a morning walk, Brody gets really tired and sleepy and it allows me to work out, shower, get ready, and like have my morning all set up to have a productive day. But today we're a little behind. So literally, quite literally in 20 minutes, I have a call I have to get on. So I think I'm just gonna make a smoothie really quick. That can be breakfast and hop on my call because that's just like the reality of it. Sometimes recording a podcast today doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that I feel like a lot of times you don't see on That you don't like see on social media like it's the behind the scenes of like the YouTube the Instagram post the podcast Which honestly takes a while and I feel like people don't talk about that much or just like the editing of YouTube videos Takes so long editing a podcast takes so long all of those things even thinking about like curating content or just sort of like producing it planning like the cute instagram outfit i don't know maybe for other people it's quick for me it's not that quick so that's to come okay it's literally 10 58 so i have to open my computer but i need to tell you guys really quick the iced chestnut praline latte with vanilla max is playing video games and chestnut praline syrup so good it's like very sweet but it's so good like the next day i was like are these even gonna be good dangerous i just never have like coffee or espresso or latte or whatever that's the sweet i feel like so it's so good wow you guys so much time has gone by. It feels like two hours later. I don't even know now. <sighs> that call took so much longer than we thought, but it was really helpful. It basically was just like, because I'm just like, oh, I have this call, but I didn't even like tell you what it's about. So sort of just like content planning and everything like that. I think that's something that maybe a lot of people you wouldn't know that you a lot of times have a plan sort of going into it of like what videos I want to make this month. I mean, this month in specific, I did extra planning more than like every other time of the year because I know I'm posting every day. So I want to keep things really fun and interesting and fresh especially when every day looks so similar to the next because there's like not that much going on so I just want to make sure that it's fun and like what you guys want to see and not what you don't you know so it was a lot of stuff like that and now I feel like it's getting so late already and I want to take Instagram picture I think this sweater is really cute I want a picture in this I just I've really been enjoying sharing photos on Instagram of like outfits that I like I don't know it's sort of bringing me back to the beginning of my channel where I just found like so much joy and happiness in sharing like outfits that I put together and outfits that I think are really cute and make me feel good when I wear them and things like that so I just really want to get an outfit picture I love posting like cute outfits that I think are cute at least on Instagram I think it's important to always be posting on Instagram if you're on social media it just helps you like connect with everyone obviously and then I still have to do my podcast I got to do that but I think we're gonna do picture first because I want to be like good lighting I don't want it to be like getting dark out later anything like that and then I have to oh I have some Instagram stories it's like it's very when you work for yourself or at least like how I do it I have my to-do list and then things towards the end of the to-do list like say I don't finish today because now I feel like it's already like so much of the day is going by so quick and I have to do my workout later because I didn't get it in the morning that always becomes difficult like I wish I just did it this morning but it's okay it's fine so we figure it out and we can juggle it all handle it all but if there's things like at the end of the to-do list like if I need to be working on like maybe ordering certain clothes for a video or whatever it is stuff like that I'll be like okay it can happen tomorrow and I'll push it like to the top of tomorrow's to-do list or something that's kind of how I do it if that's helpful um and now i think i'm going to get my outfit together to get a cute little thing okay you guys i still have all my my packages to unpack let's do that i'll do that right now actually um just got instagram pictures it was really quick yeah. i took like 10 you pictures were, you were on your game today i was very yeah. quick i just wanted a cute pic and a cute outfit that i would wear somewhere if i had somewhere to go <laughs> right now so yeah but Max is my little photographer. Thank you, Max. Per usual. And this guy and feels boom. left out. He was barking because <laughs> we were taking pictures and not petting him. Huh. I didn't bring you out with us. Let's do package time. 
because Max has had it up to here that I have packages everywhere. We're drowning in packages. I'm realizing I want to show you the outfit that I would be wearing in here too. So this is from Revolve. So cute. I literally fell in love when I saw this sweater on their website. I was like, that is the cutest sweater. Is that your laundry? <laughs> And I don't know, I just really like the details of it. Obviously yeah. it's like a turtleneck and all like crisscross. And then, <laughs> and then these are like pleather flare kind of pants from Grey Bandit. They're so fun and so flattering. I showed them on my Instagram story and everyone was like, oh my God, those are so cute. So love these, adorable. And yeah, now I'm probably gonna put on my workout clothes, <laughs> record the podcast and do my little workout because as cute as this is, I don't have anywhere to go. in the aftermath. Wow, I have a lot of recycling to do. One thing that I am so excited I finally opened, I was just like being lazy not opening everything. I don't know why I'm like this. I ordered this bowl forever ago from Restoration Hardware. I think it's so gorgeous. Oh, it's heavy. It's just like this. Oh, there you can see the texture. I think it's so pretty. And I thought it would look so good on our entryway console and we could put like our keys in there. That came. These I ordered Cyber Monday. They came in like two days or whatever from Adidas because I had the Ultra Boost first version and these are the second version. I thought I could tell you were up. Um, I thought you were like trying to sneak up on me coming in here. Max is putting in there. <laughs> he got like a, what do you call that a putting? Guys, Max got this new golf contraption. What would you call this, Max? Mm -hmm. Just like a putting thing. Putting. And he Eight. puts, except Brody is in the way. So I said this is a good obstacle for you. You just have You're to really hit it really hard yeah. <laughs> over his tail. <laughs> oh, that was so <laughs> close. And no that one get mad. Does. It doesn't hurt him, obviously. That like we were does. like, is the golf ball gonna be like too hard against his tail? He is happy as a clam. Look at him. He just wants to be involved in everything. <laughs> So that's that, but yeah, I got new ones of these because my first ones are getting really old. I think I like left them in Albany too at like my mom's house and I knew I wanted the 2.0s because I would wear them all the time. And I had the white ones in the first version and then I got them in the second version and I love them so much. So just got the black and I got a size eight in case you're wondering. I'm usually an eight and a half, but I go a half size down in the Ultra Boost because I find they run big. Then I got some new pieces from Nasty Gal, which I'm so excited about. I didn't have a gray pea coat, so I'm really happy that I got a gray one. Got some things from Summer Fridays, all sorts of stuff. guys that felt so good to get a workout in i just feel like i really needed it my battery died but i was saying i really needed that i don't know if you can tell i'm like emotional in this moment i also feel like yoga just like it's like a good cry at the end when you're just like in shavasana you can just be one with your thoughts i don't know i've just been like having a rough day i'm not trying to be like that earlier this morning i was like feeling weird but i was like i'm just no, like yesterday, or no, two days ago was my honest life update. Like that was enough crying, but yeah, whatever. You get a taste right now. It's just <laughs> how today is. I just, I don't know. I feel like I've been having a rough day. So clearly doing all my work things has been taking longer than it should have. And that's just the complete truth of it sometimes. Like I'd love to be really on it all day and be able to be done at five. And that's just not one of those days. And I'll be up really late editing, um, everything like that. But it's just how it happens sometimes so well i also feel like my ponytail looks so funny right now but yeah i just came in and was like emotional from the end of my yoga and mm -hmm. i just felt good to like move my body always it, that always makes me feel better and kind of just like feel and get through all my feelings of today and i just hugged max and said i've just had like rough day a little bit and he said i really liked what he said of course now i'm gonna mess it up but he was like it's okay to have rough days because that's what makes the good ones so much better and i'm like yeah 
Yeah, you're right. And also just recording my podcast puts me literally in the best mood. And now, of course, it's like Thursday afternoon and it's going up, well, like tonight at midnight tomorrow. But I actually always love recording my podcast during the day on Thursday, like the day before, because I... I just, I don't know, something about it to me seems even more like genuine and authentic because I just recorded it and posted it. So it's like I'm talking to you right as I'm posting it kind of. Like it's sort of like how Vlogmas is, how I love Vlogmas so much, how I feel like we can connect even more in like a genuine way because like this I'm filming today. Wait, what's the day again? The third? And then it goes up tomorrow and like that's, I guess the podcast will go up tomorrow too. But yeah, it's funny because, well, I, both of these are going up tomorrow so I can just tell you. It's funny because I've had this idea of making a podcast about like your ideal day or your perfect schedule or sort of like what you fill your day with for a while but I always feel like with these things I'm like oh do I have like the perfect like advice to give them or the perfect situation over here like no it's never perfect like you're always working on it and it's funny because today has been like all over the place and like not my ideal day at all because it just so much has come up I don't know just like personally like feelings and stuff you're probably like you've done nothing today so that's when it turns into the like working until midnight situation which isn't ideal but that's just how days go sometimes you roll with the punches it's okay moving on I'm gonna shower I'm gonna feel so much better it's also so weird did I say this already that I'm working on makeup on because I never do because I work out in the morning normally but yeah I have my cozy little set laid out I'm gonna go shower I always feel so much better after a shower and we're gonna record and it's gonna be so much fun I already know after I record I'm gonna be like whoa and you guys are gonna be like okay it's a whole new Gretchen because whenever I get to like even now, I'm already feeling better talking to you guys if I ever film, if I ever sit down, film a video, vlog, like record a podcast especially. I just feel like I'm chatting with my friends, you guys. So, yeah, that's all I have to say right now. Okay, you guys, you get the behind the scenes. I'm about to click record. I always get like nervous. This is the behind the scenes of recording the podcast. And I have to go like this. <sighs> like I do like, I do that. Like I do a couple of deep breaths. And then I always feel like I trip over my first little phrase. I'm like, hey everyone, welcome to this week's Hey everyone. So I practice a little bit and then right here we go. Okay. Got my mic set up. I have the computer where it's recording onto it next to it. And then some notes in my little day planner. So here we go. Hey everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Happy Hour. As you can tell by the title of this episode, this is just going to be talking about sort of my perfect ideal day or like my favorite daily routine and you'll see why I just had this idea and why I've been so inspired to talk about this. My sweet, sweet Max. I just had That's the best. Chef Max. Yeah, mm. Chef Max. I just had Thank the best you. podcast recording session. Mm, it was so good to be back on the mic. I miss them. Like I knew I was going to be in such a better mood after that. I just feel like I was chatting with my girls, even though no one was talking mm -hmm. back to me. But Max made us dinner. It's always the dramatic, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's the you guys for me. Okay, right. He made the HelloFresh Tex-Mex beef and poblano enchiladas. Basically, he just made enchiladas. Not sponsored by HelloFresh or anything. This vlog isn't sponsored. We literally just love them and make it so much. We still need to freaking order more because you know what my friend told me? That they have it like every single night. We could easily mm -hmm. make one of these every single night. It's so freaking good. So, dun 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 dun. He said he worked so hard on I can't believe you did this all. I mean, I can't believe you did it by yourself, obviously. But I feel like it would have taken me so long by myself. Like, mm -hmm. it's always fun to have a sous chef, you know? No sous chef required. Sous chef? Sous chef. <laughs> this literally looks better than their picture. Like, I feel like normally it's like, okay, like, theirs always looks better. But, like, yours looks... Like, I'm so impressed, babe. Cody is always drinking mm -hmm. in every vlog clip. I don't know. I was gonna go like this. Wow! I'm like so excited yeah. all day. I'm like, all I want are these enchiladas. Wow. I can't wait to try. Also, if you guys are wondering, you can probably <laughs> tell. <laughs> no, we still get the four servings. And to be honest, this was not shown. The other day we had, like the first day it came, we were so excited. What were they? They were like pork burgers. Mm. We ate every last bite of the four servings. <laughs> Let me tell you, we were so hungry. We each had two burgers, all the potatoes. We could probably finish this entire pan, so like TBD, but um, it's really nice because when we don't eat it all, we have like leftovers for lunch the next day. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys, Brody just finished his kibble. I was just gonna say, look who's eating dinner with us. Are you getting every last bite? Do you like your kibbles? 
<laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I've ever had an enchilada. Oh, I love enchiladas. Really? Because I think I've only ever had like taco, quesadilla, fajita, but I don't know if I've had an enchilada. Mm-hmm. Wait, you know what? Maybe I have at a restaurant because I feel like they look like this. Like when you mm -hmm. bake them in the oven, like these were in the oven. Mm-hmm. Guys. Guys, if you get HelloFresh, got this one. Again, not sponsored, just love. All right, guys, I am the worst. As you can tell, probably, it is the next morning, and I can't believe the last thing I filmed was eating dinner last night. I just knew I had so much to do and I was so busy, and that is, like, such a lame thing to say since I wanted to show a work day in my life, and what I'm realizing is that's just so hard for me to, like, capture everything because when I'm busy, like, answering the phone with someone from my management or like anything like that I'm not whipping out the vlog camera or like I was up so late. you can probably hear it in my voice just editing my podcast because like I said I just sort of had like a rough morning so everything got shifted back so you were probably like okay what does she even do during the day but it just gets shifted to the nighttime so I was up very late editing my podcast editing my vlogmas and that's kind of the reality of it sometimes because I can just really focus like Max is sleeping Brody's sleeping and like nothing is distracting me so yes that happened I also realized I did not even show you guys I yeah this was a fail I need to do like a work day in my life again and be really structured and be like these are the times I'm doing this so I can give you like a work day in my life when I'm on top of it and like having more of a schedule and like just working during the day not like all through the night because who else does that that has like a normal job like a night to five you know I actually filmed two Instagram stories that I have for brands going live during vlogmas so that's something that you didn't see as well because in my head like when I'm busy and fully focused on doing something I'm like not setting up the vlog camera to like show you behind the scenes you know i know i showed a little on my podcast that was fun like in the beginning but yeah i apologize <laughs> you're like gay hey, what did she even do but i actually feel like i was so busy yesterday and i'm so tired like i had so much going on and it just never ends in vlogmas all day every day baby so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog though maybe it gave you like a little bit of an insight to the behind the scenes i feel like there's way more i could even say or show so Maybe we'll try that later. Maybe we could do like a work week in my life. That could be a good like way to round it off to give you like a, a good idea. Like that's what I like when I do the what I eat in a week because what I eat in a day, it's like, okay, did I have a day full of junk food because I'm like chilling or was I like really on it? And so then everyone's like, okay, you like eat so healthy all day. But it's like, that's not in reality what it looks like for like a whole week. So I could show you like a work week in my life because some days are a lot more chill and it's maybe just like vlogging all day and posting a video or whatever. But then other days it's like, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do. I gotta like fit it all in. So yeah that's that thank you guys so much for watching oh i have to do my glv spills the tea now's the time people almost forgot but happy i did it because this is always so fun at the end max do you know the answer to this question for yourself yeah i'm curious because and i even replied to this comment because i was like "Ooh, that's good like i knew i was gonna do it and she said what is one thing you regret from your past and I always say I like to live my life with no regrets like anything that I feel like I maybe made a mistake whatever like it taught me something like you know pointed me in the right direction we get through it but oh, I got mine. what is it can you share yeah what is it um, not getting a dog oh <laughs> that's really cute but like but you didn't have a choice like you know with your family growing up like you couldn't just be like mom like I'm 12 like I just brought a dog home you know do you just mean like in college or something you would have got one no, you just like wish that you had one? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, Max is such a dog person. Like, his love for Brody is more than his love for me. No, not true. <laughs> no, but like, we obviously you can tell we love Brody so freaking much. Like, it's bad. Like, it makes me not productive because I'll be like, yeah, I have stuff to do, but I'm just going to lay in bed this morning and like cuddle with him because. We love him so much. That's really cute. I think that if I could change something about me in the past, it would be to like grab me by the shoulders and shake me and be like, stop worrying so much. Like everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna work out. Stop worrying about like X, Y, and Z and how you're gonna get there. Like things always work out. And it reminds me of that saying like, 
I'm gonna mess it up. I've talked about this before though. I feel like it like goes around Instagram sometimes. Like you never take the time to look back and realize that all these doors you wish would open have opened or you've walked through all these doors you wish them would open. I don't know, I'm messing it up. Like that you've like accomplished or done all these things that you've always like dreamed of. And I, I can relate to that. Like Max, I, I didn't even tell you this. I looked back at a Q&A of mine from actually earlier this year. Wait, it felt like 2018 or 2019, but it was like the very beginning of March, right before quarantine and all that. And I did a Q&A and it said something like, where do you see yourself? And I don't know, it might've been like how many months or years, or I don't know. And I was like, obviously with you, or maybe it was like five years. And I was like, hopefully like engaged. And then I was like, hopefully like a golden retriever puppy. And like, here we are, <laughs> golden retriever puppy, you know? So yeah, I don't know. Oh, so what I regret, this is such a long answer. What I regret is worrying so much. And you know, this is good I'm saying this right now because I feel like I still do that. <laughs> I regret that I still worry a lot. Like I worry about, I don't know, I think things that everyone worries about. The future, money, if I'm gonna be able to like keep, I don't know, living my life, if things are gonna get in the way, losing loved ones, like things like, yeah, I'm just like a worrier. So I regret worrying so much. Like I need to just be present. Take a deep breath, everything's gonna be okay. Maybe that helps some of you if you need to do that too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow, which is today. Vlogmas day four. I cannot believe it's vlogmas day four already. This is like flying by. Love you, bye.